On April 15, 2019, we started removing fuel from the Unit 3 spent fuel pool at the Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Station. This is the first time fuel has been removed from a unit in which the reactor core melted. This video will show the steps that were taken leading up to this point and the fuel removal method that is being employed. This is the Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Station, Unit 3. The reactor building was heavily damaged by a hydrogen explosion during the accident. Since the accident, we have been examining how to remove the 566 fuel assemblies being cooled in the spent fuel pool and transport them to the common pool, where the fuel can be stored in a more stable manner. First, rubble on the upper part of the building was removed, and then shielding was installed to reduce radiation doses. In order to prevent the dispersion of radioactive materials, a dome-shaped fuel removal cover was installed. We newly developed a remotely operated fuel handling machine in order to reduce worker exposure to radiation. We experienced some mechanical issues, but the causes of each problem were rectified, and we moved ahead with preparations. Rubble from inside the spent fuel pool was also removed. We began fuel removal on April 15th. Fuel removal work is being done not just by TEPCO, but with the support of partner companies. A remotely operated fuel handling machine is used to lift fuel assemblies that are about 4 meters long and weigh 250 kilograms out of the spent fuel pool. The fuel assemblies are carried to a fuel transport container, called a cask, which is about 10 meters away, and inserted one by one. Remotely operating the equipment is difficult because you have to get used to judging the distance and the response of the machine. We have improved our skills by training on a mock-up, but the lighting and rubble conditions at the actual site differ from the mock-up, so we have to take our time and move step by step. The cask will be lowered to the ground floor using a specially designed crane loaded onto a trailer and transported from Unit 3 to the common pool on site. The fuel in the cask will then be carefully and safely moved into the rack in the common pool by workers. Since all tasks such as lowering the cask and affixing and removing the cask lids have to be done remotely, several workers check each step while prioritizing safety. The concentration of radioactive materials in dust is measured using dust monitors. While the fuel removal work is underway as part of our commitment to prioritizing safety. We've done a lot of preparation and training, so I am pleased that we have started to remove fuel. However, this is just the beginning. There are challenges to overcome, such as having to do all the work via remote operation and the high-dose environment. But we will keep safety our top priority and move steadily forward with this task, which should take about two years to complete. Updates on the progress of fuel removal, etc., will be continuously posted on our website. And we will continue to move forward with this task while keeping safety our top priority.